Let's do an example where we'll create a simple sinusoidal model. For variety, let's do a different example than the one that's found in the notes. I presented this in the um, frequency video. And then in the modeling video, I gave you an equation. How did I go from this data to this equation? Let's work through it. To find an equation, we need some kind of data point telling us where our equation should start. So in addition to the stuff that I had written here, I'm giving an additional piece of information that at time zero, the heart has 140 milliliters of blood in it. Let's find a sinusoidal function that models this. There are two options. We could use a sine or we could use a cosine. And if you can model something using a sine, you can model it using a cosine and vice versa. So in a sense, it doesn't matter which we use. I'm telling you though, that at x equals zero, this function has its maximum value. And if you look at the sine and the cosine, the cosine also has this property that at x equals zero, the cosine has its maximum value. So let's use the cosine function. And let's find A, B, C, and D one by one. A is the amplitude. A is one half the maximum value minus the minimum value. And the maximum amount of blood is 140. And the minimum amount of blood is 70. So the amplitude is 35. B is a little more work. We know that the period is 2 pi divided by B, but we're not um, explicitly given any information about the period. However, we're given the frequency. And the frequency is one divided by the period. So we can solve for the period. And once we know what the period is, we can use this equality to solve for B. B equals 140 
times pi. So let's copy it down. What we have so far. C is our phase shift. And now here's where using the cosine is going to be beneficial to us. What we want is for the maximum to be on the y axis. And the maximum of the cosine is on the y axis. You don't want to shift the cosine horizontally. If you shifted this horizontally, our maximum wouldn't be where it's supposed to be. So there is no phase shift. C equals zero. What about the vertical shift? Well, what we have so far is something that looks like this. And the maximum value that this function takes on is the amplitude. 35. We want the maximum value to be 140. So to go from 35 to 140, we must shift up. by 105 units. And here's our model. And this is indeed the same equation I gave you in the previous video.